Jason with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. And I'm up here on Cameron Pass on October 31st, uh, checking out the snowpack. Uh, we've got about a foot and a half of depth here. And this is all our recent snow. And it's sitting on a crust. And the most worrisome layer uh, is right below this crust. It's really facid. And this has happened just in the last week uh, with uh, clear skies, cold nights, followed by some uh, really cold weather. So got a lot of fastening going on right here. And what I have on top is not much of a slab, so not too worried about this right here. But if I get on a wind-loaded slope and at a thick slab, uh, I'm definitely going to be worried about collapsing this layer and triggering an avalanche. Uh, unfortunately, with the weather, clear weather coming up, uh, this isn't going to get any better. Uh, we're going to have slabs that start to fast it, but uh, next storm it could be pretty full on. The bottom line is right now we have a moderate avalanche danger in the northern and central mountains. The most concerning slopes are ones that were recently wind-loaded. These slopes will face an easterly direction and they will be located directly below ridgetop. Over the next seven days, the snowpack will continue to weaken and facet. This will decrease the avalanche danger in the coming days, but this is not good news for the next time it snows. We will likely see avalanches during the next storm cycle as snow falls on a weak snowpack.